Hello, welcome to the new video of Dynasty War. Today we will talk about the tricks. So the tricks have been in this game for a while already and I have not never talked about it before because I think um, there is still a lot of problems. They have made recent changes to it and added new uh, tricks to it. So I And some of you asked for a video about tricks so I decided to make one right now. Uh, so for tricks you need the Imperial College to unlock tricks and I am not sure at what headquarter level you will get the Imperial College. But at each level you get an additional trick for up to 5 tricks right now. And along with each um, level for your Imperial College, you get 3 extra level for your individual tricks. So right now my um, Thunderbolt is level 12 because my Imperial College is level 4. In order for me to upgrade it to level 13, I'll need the next level of Imperial College. So the first trick is Thunderbolt. It is the most basic trick, um, very versatile, you can use it anywhere um, in any kind of battle. So I think that is why the first trick. And uh, it's pretty simple, you do damage to 4 units in a certain area and very simple, you can use it in many different cases. Uh, in the beginning, when Holy Fire sucks, I use the Thunderbolt to kill the uh, reinforcement troops because it does enough damage to kill the troops, however you only do you can only kill 4 troops. Uh, but right now for this account, I use it to um, get up to 50% in the Lion's War because this is a very weak account. I try to get 50% for um, to get at least one shield from the Alliance War. So sometimes I can't do that and I'll need the Thunderbolt to get the 1-3% to 3 uh, at the very end uh, because at level 12 uh, this does 600 damage and at level 15 I think it's like 700 something. So each level it's not that much of an increase but it's definitely enough to destroy the uh, hero platform or the um, craftsman's building hut thingy. So those will give you 1% or 2% Per building. Sometimes they're close enough where you can do the damage to at least two uh, buildings or sometimes buildings are very low health and if you know about how much damage your Thunderbolt does and how low the building is you can also use that on there. Uh, but remi remember it only does damage to four units and sometimes if they, it, the AI well, it's, it's kind of stupid for the Thunderbolt they sometimes they just target walls. They will attack walls and if your range have walls in them and more than four, it is very likely that all four damage will apply to the walls instead of the building or troops or heroes that you intend to attack. Uh, this happened to me a couple times. Right now, uh, I use this with Lubu. I have complained about Lubu's skill being very weak. Uh, my Lubu is almost maxed out already, but um, it's still very weak. Sometimes it cannot kill uh, heroes and when, they, when that happened, I'll use the Thunderbolt to finish off uh, the hero. So it is very versatile, you can use it in many different situations and if you don't find the other one useful, you probably want to use this one. So the next one is Holy Water. Uh, it has an area of effect that heals 8 targets for a certain amount of HP and this healing occurs within 5 seconds. So right now at level 1 it's 290 uh, healing per target in the, in the 8 target. So in the beginning, I don't think they tell you how many targets it heals, so I always thought it heals everyone in there, or at least a, a higher maximum of target, because 8 target is very, very little targets, okay? And obviously, this trick is useless to heroes. Couple hundred HP for hero is nothing. They can, they can easily um, out-damage that healing easily, so I don't think that is... This trick is really useful for hero. At level 9, it's um, 460 something healing. So uh, I don't have any trick, I don't have any holy water that is higher than that. So I don't know what is the maximum or what could it heal more. But for this trick, I find it only useful in Alliance Dungeon because you have a lot of troops grouped together and they will be probably stationary. Your healer sometimes will focus on a hero or certain troops and ignore the other troops or healers cannot heal themselves, they cannot heal other healers as well. So when your healers are damaged, you can use the holy water to heal them. But for only a couple hundred uh, HP, and it's a slow heal because it's, it occurs over 5 seconds, it's really not that useful when in other combat, in other um, siege or whatever battle you're in. So holy water, it's especially right now that they specifically stated it's only 8 targets for a couple hundred HP. I don't think it's even worth using. Uh, maybe if they could change it for more targets or heal more or m somehow make it better. Because right now, a couple hundred damage 
the enemy, the other side, the defensive side, can easily do that amount of damage pretty quickly. And not a lot of troops have over a couple hundred troops that will wait for this trick to heal them. So I don't know when to use it. The only time I use it is in the Lion's Dungeon. So the next one is the Iron Wall. The Iron Wall gives you shield for only your hero. So you have four heroes, so at most, it will provide a shield for all four heroes. So at level 1, it absorbs 400 something damage. At level 12, it absorbs almost 800 damage. So this one is a little bit more useful because it actually gives you enough um, HP for the shield to, to actually affect the outcome. Because 400 HP, uh, it's equivalent to one uh, seven star hero strike. So it's very weak. Obviously, it's level 1, level 12, it's 800 uh, HP. So it will take two hit, two hits from enemy he heroes. Uh, sometimes it's still useful, but it probably ha I probably have to upgrade that even uh, to a higher level to to be useful. I use it with my sword hero because they will go into melee combat and easily soak up more damage. So giving them 800 more HP seems like a reasonable thing to do because the other tricks doesn't really offer anything that I need. So. That will be one situation where I'll use them. I rush the um, the heroes in and then I use it on them. So especially if my child, I don't know if this probably will stack with the um, the mitigation from my child's shield or Guan use uh, mitigation effect from from his awakening skill as well. So any decrease in damage probably will take into effect on the HP provided from this shield. Uh, if you're using things like this, using um, Sword Hero that will rush in, this is probably a good idea. If you're using Shield Hero, this additional shield is only like a fraction of the HP, so I don't think it's that useful. Maybe useful in, for uh, Fan Hero and Archer Hero as well, because they have low HP, so the shield actually provides them a more significant protection. The next thing is the Holy Fire. Holy Fire basically tells you it does 2 times damage to enemy soldiers, enemy units, so it's targeted for uh, reinforcement. So recently they fixed this. Earlier it sucked because it does not do area damage. It will not even kill like six alchemists from the um, alliance camp. So it's complete garbage. It will distribute the damage evenly for all of them and all of the alchemists will have like a little bit of HP left but there will be six of them. So they are still as strong as they are in full HP. So right now I think they changed the area damage and actually target uh, reinforcement troop first instead of randomly re uh, randomly uh, targeting structures or whatever and it does hit 12 times and um, uh, so this basically is pretty simple if you don't have a hero that can deal with reinforcement troops or if you don't if you are not gonna lure out the um, enemy troops this is the one to use because it will kill them but you have to level it up pretty high to be effective I have one at level 10, this one is level 10 as well, but the, my other account has level 10. It cannot even kill like hi, like very high, high level um, alchemists. So especially if people don't use alchemists, if they use um, war elephant or tiger warrior, don't think about using this holy fire on them, it's useless. You might do like a couple hundred damage to them, it doesn't do anything. So if you are only afraid of alchemists, or a bunch of archers, then this will be the trick to use. Um, other than that, this is very useless, it doesn't do much <laughs> for you. The next one is the deterrence, which is the newest trick. Basically, it gives you a buff on attack speed and movement speed, speed uh, which is, I think, a very, very good um, trick because it really helps you attack. It's a very offensive, offensive uh, trick. While a couple of the previous ones, they are very, uh, more defensive and not very... You can't really use them strategically. You only use them like that, and that's it. So this one, you can use it along with your troops. Whatever troops you have, this will buff them. Movement speed is just, nah, whatever. You don't really care. It's really the attack speed. Attack speed by 11% is a lot. And each level you level it up, you get an additional 1% for both the attack speed and movement speed. So you can easily get it up to, I guess, over like 20 to 30%, which is very fast. Um, this is useful, I think, useful in both Alliance Dungeon or any other battle, Siege battle, 
because it buffs your attack. While you might not find the other four useful, this will always be useful because you're always attacking. Now, if you only use heroes to attack, you rely on heroes to attack, this might not be that useful because uh, you're only buffing the hero's attack speed, w which could be useful as well. But when you rely on hero, you're usually relying on their skill instead of their auto attack. Now, this one is useful in Alliance Dungeon because of the attack speed. Because you have a bunch of troops standing in the same position, and all of them could take advantage of the 10 second that this trick allowed them to have a higher attack speed. Um, I have talked about using Sima Yi in Alliance Dungeon because of the buff, damage buff, and uh, attack speed buff. So if you don't use Sima Yi or any uh, buff uh, hero like that, you can use this one. It does not provide you a damage buff, it only gives you a attack speed buff. But it's still pretty good because you can exchange that one hero for a different hero that you want to use. And it will still give you a very big advantage. If you have like 20-30% attack speed, you're basically getting that extra 20% um, DPS already for all the troops in the area. There is no limit to how many troops. It's only 10 seconds. Um, this could be useful with um, along with Jiang Wei's Awakening skill. His skill only give a uh, damage buff. So this trick, along with maybe any other hero that gives you uh, only damage buff, this will give you the attack speed. So you can use this on Alliance Dungeon. Uh, it's, I think it's the perfect uh, trick for Alliance Dungeon. It's very offensive. Uh, you can use it on other battle as well. It's always good as long as you use other troops. So this, these are the five tricks right now in the game. Uh, just a quick note: Thunderbolt and Holy Fire will not damage resource storage. Um, that's one thing they used to do it. So you can just randomly throw a Thunderbolt and loot a couple uh, hundred beads. Now you can't do that. Um, the Thunderbolt and the Deterrence is probably the only offensive uh, trick that you can use while. The Holy Water and Iron War is very defensive. Um, Holy Fire is only for the reinforcement troops. And it is very useful. But honestly, I think right now the most the one that I use the most is the Thunderbolt or the Iron War. Uh, Deterrence, I'll use it for sometimes I'll use it for uh, Alliance Dungeon, but because I have Sima Yi, I don't really need it. And Holy Water is just kinda garbage right now. So this is it for this video. Uh, if there is any update on tricks or new tricks or changes to their um, ability, I'll talk about it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.